All right. So this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well a Scorpio Rising. Monthly general tarot reading April 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And one other thing is that I have now started my uh, my courses after a long time contemplation. So if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn how to read that way, uh, visiting my Facebook page, which uh, you're going to find as well down into the, down into the description below and uh, giving me an inquiry there is going to set you sorted out for the courses themselves. So at least it's going to give you the information you need how to sign up so uh that being said moving to the spread straight away now the first card here which marks the topic of uh, our scorpio month i'm saying ours because it's i am scorpio as well we have the full card moving next it is uh, the challenges the not the challenges excuse me that is about the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic that will be the devil Third one stands as the challenges uh, that we will have to overcome throughout the month here. We have uh, the uh, Knight of Wands, followed by the gifts and the blessings that we can and should enjoy throughout the month here. We do have the Knight of Pentacles at that position. The fifth card represents uh, the impression that we are going to leave into the people around. Uh, that will be the Eight of Wands, followed by uh, the things that are going to help our long-term goal and under long-term goal i mean the goal to be successful and the goal to be happy uh, we have the two of swords what is going to hurt our long-term goal though it will be the eight of pentacles and the last one here which represents the guidance that uh, tower is offering to us we do have the uh, justice card okay so for what it looks like from all these cards, months of April is going to be very different from any kind of a month that we recently had. Probably uh, it will be very, very different from the past six months and it will be sudden turnaround into our, uh, into our circumstances in general because uh, having the first couple of cards here, by the way, uh, as the positions they stand, the devil and the full card it points that uh, in the months of uh, april we get what we lack in a sense of that we are getting what we are missing and that will cause a, a tremendous change into uh, into our life in general so if you are missing a success into career then this is what you are getting okay if you are missing love then this is what you are getting as well now, one thing is, however, to get it. Another thing is to get a grip on it in a sense of that you are to have it there displayed for you or we are going to have it displayed for us. But can we take it or should we take it? It's another subject. Uh, that is because the full card marks the topic itself and um, the, full, the full points that not everything is going to be uh we say we are saying into our country pink in a sense of that is going to seem perfect uh there are to be some uh, splinters to be taken off you know there are going to be some problems to be resolved there are to be some setbacks that you can imagine and you can you can anticipate moving along the way with this uh thing that you are to get whatever you are lacking uh in your life but these are challenges that can and should be overcome for the month of april we should kind of be excited about not just only the opportunity but also what could follow up afterwards i mean what is to manifest at the end of this particular road the energies themselves which are the energies of the devil it represents exactly that that the energies throughout the month of april are giving us what we need or what we what we have yearned up until this point so uh it looks like that it will be quite of an exciting month once again additionally those energies will allow us to force circumstances very strong for the devil in a sense of that whatever we want or whatever we say it goes and that particular power because the devil is all about power that particular power will allow us to be on top of our career on top of our love life as well you know and just having it the way you want it to have it and that's why 
it will be imperative and it will be important here to grasp and seize on the opportunity that is given to us of whatever we are lacking either love success into career maybe we are lacking a social contact that is to be given to us as well it will be individual for us for every single one of us scorpio but the bottom line with those couple of cards here what, what, what i'm trying to make a point to you across it is that if at the end of the month we are not finding ourselves with improved circumstances it is because of us it is because we could not capitalize and we could have not utilized the blessing that the world gave us or the blessing that the universe gave us so we gotta prepare ourselves for a, a big thing big um uh, how can I say it? A jump, I would have said propellation because it's kind of like propelling ourselves moving forward. But a big jump moving forward into our future, a leap of faith, if you will, because a little bit of a faith is going to be needed. Important thing throughout the months of April for a Scorpio is to believe in the bright future as well to allow our ideas to take place, expression. We should be carefree. We should not be afraid of uh, Taking a participation into things that we have a little clue how to tackle it, but we're going to get the hang of it very, very quickly. And also socializing, it is the name of the game, especially if we are looking for a, uh, um, a, a love life. Now with the four card, it will be a long journey, okay, because we are just starting as a matter of fact more months of april is going to be the begin the moment just before the beginning where you are establishing the contact of your new relationship okay where you are establishing the foundation of your job but um even if it is not yet fully manifested and initiated it will be as beautiful as it can be moving next we do have the challenges and that is a, a person uh, i don't see how that challenge is going to be related to the topic itself and to the energies that is something peripheral and it's only going to annoy you uh, annoy us it's what i meant in the month uh, of uh, april and that is a, a very inconsistent person someone who follows their personal interest and does not give a dime about our interest i mean they are following our interest as long as our interest is their interest as well but as soon as these uh, as soon as both interests divide well they are gonna follow their own interest meaning that that is someone we definitely cannot count in on and uh, unfortunately because it's falling into the challenges that is to us to identify that is to us to understand that we are placing hopes into a person who does not deserve those hopes who are who is to betray those hopes and uh, having the knights of wands in the challenging position pretty much points that uh, that person itself whom we think that it, it will it is very reliable actually is going to back off very easily uh, for in a in a phase of midst of difficulty so they will not be able they will not going to be willing to do what it takes to manifest the thing that they have promised are going to manifest for us so uh, we should prepare to be a bit disappointed from some contacts that we have established recently you know and from some people that we kind of like once again placed a great hopes in moving next we do have the gifts and the blessings that is another person and uh, it is the knights of pentacles so it could manifest in many many different ways because uh, according to the um topic itself from this person here it is what we want or what we are yearning uh, for is coming from okay so knights of pentacles it points to a person who is very devoted to us in a sense of that we are what they want for one or another reason maybe they want us into their business to take part into their business because they see in us a the the person who is who is suitable for the job the man for the job maybe they want to be with us in terms of romance you know because they see us exactly as what they want for a love life as well the point with the knights of pentacles it is that these people that that person here very simple uh, very determined as well 
I need someone who is not going to, how can I say, play games with, uh, with us and making us feel bad and making us feel, you know, like we have, we are dependable of them. Just on the contrary, they will try to predispose us in a state of, um, how can I say it? Of a liberty, if you will, where we think that the world, where we are to feel like the world is brought down into uh, into our knees. Uh, another thing is that this um, Knights of Pentacles it could represent jumping into branches of love, meaning that that could be completely, completely new suitor, and I mean new because we do have the full card. If we didn't have the full card, I would have said that that is an X, but not in this case, guys. That is someone new that is going to display love toward us. Moving next, we are having the uh, impression of the people around. That will be the Eight of Wands. People were seeing us very lucky. I mean, a, a lucky bastard, you know, kind of like they, they would want to be into our shoes. Unfortunately, that ain't going to be the case. And sometimes you gotta get what you can. You gotta take what you can get, right? So we are taking what we are getting here, and it is because now it's our moment. Now it's important here to be acknowledged. It is that what is happening to us into the month of April is gonna be by a pure uh, coincidence, by a pure chance, if you will. We haven't worked for it, and uh, that could create a little bit of an envy um, into those that are around us, you know, our friends, uh, our co-workers as well, and etc, etc. It is just we are to find ourselves in the right moment under the right circumstances. But we cannot be held accountable and blamed for that. It is just our luck and it does look like that we are going to be extremely lucky throughout the month of April. Followed next, it is uh, the, uh, what we can do in order to further our goal. That is to be the Two of Swords. So Two of Swords literally points that we should not rush the things around. We should not try to push anything. And every time that we kind of like struggle with making up our mind what we should do or whom we should be with, right? Um, the two of souls points that we should stow as much as we can the uh, the decision making because it the, the two of souls represents uh, not trial and error but the method of uh, the method of elimination. So the wrong choices are gonna eliminate themselves as the time progresses until only one choice is left and that will be the right choice choice for us to take. Meanwhile, however, it's important with the Two of Swords that we maintain equilibrium, meaning we maintain communications with everybody. We maintain performance in everything until we kind of have a, an understanding or a, a vision which is worth it and which isn't worth it. And finally, with the Two of Swords, before we decide what to do, we should consider all points of view. What can hurt our long-term goal here? That is to be the Eight of Pentacles. Unfortunately, this card does not make much sense into this narrative, unless, unless that card points that we are way too much of a perfectionist and we are not open to make a compromise. In a sense of that, just to give you an example of it, saying your suitor comes around here, but it has some traits that you does not really like, and just based on those minor traits that are just the trifles, you exclude that suitor from your pool of potential future partners. And that is going to hurt your goal because maybe this is the one that is possible to make you happy. Once again, with Two of Swords, do not rush to exclude options available because you never know. The, on the right options available, it is the only one standing as the time progresses. So we should keep every option available available for us uh, until it becomes unavailable on its own accord and not because we have denied it. And the final card, it is uh, the guidance that Taro is offering here. That is to be the justice card. So the justice points that we should, we are to be gifted with the astute discernment in terms of the nature of the situations moving throughout the month of April, which will require from, from us to structure our priorities accordingly, in a sense of that small priorities are to be taken and, and, and priorities of emergency 
are to be taken straight away and those priorities that can wait they can and should wait so it's like structuring our priorities in a such a way that none of them it is neglected very important thing so the very least we exert confidence and the very least we show reliability into those around us so that being said scorpio this was our monthly tarot reading for april 2020 it does look like a tremendous month guys i'm so looking forward to see how it's to manifest in all these crazy days uh, but yeah that concludes the reading uh, and in case you do want your personal one i mean personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such and depending on the service you purchased, I will contact you within 24 hours telling you how your reading is going to take place. And if you want to hook for the right uh, for the tarot courses that have um, initially started, uh, in the description down below, you're going to see a link to my Facebook page in case you're not following me there. And just give me an inquiry on the Facebook page messages. And uh, stay safe now. See you around. Bye.